Today we are going to be changing the front and rear differential fluid on my 1997 TJ with a 2.5 liter inline 4. This is the SE model. It has uh, open differentials front and rear. Um, for those of you that haven't watched any of the other videos about this vehicle, uh, routine maintenance was not uh, performed on this machine. So I suspect that the front and rear differential fluid has not been changed in a long time. Looking at the owner's manual, you can see that the front takes three and a bit US pints and the rear diff takes two and a half US pints. The recommended um, gear lube is 80-90 oil. So we, I went to uh, Canadian Tire and picked up some, some 80-90. Uh, also, draining the fluid on on these differentials require the the actual diff cover to be removed. They don't have a, a drain plug; they only have a fill plug. So uh, we have to pull the diff cover off. So that means we have to either get a new gasket or make one of ourselves. So I just have some. Uh, multi-purpose gasket maker here. So before you start draining the fluid from anything, you got to make sure that you can remove the fill plug. Uh, you, you don't want to drain your fluid, put everything back in, and only to realize that your uh, drain plug, or your fill plug rather, is seized in there and you're basically then you're stranded. Uh, it just takes a, a 3 8 drive. It's coming out pretty good. There's lots of fluid in there. Probably more than what there should have been, but more is more is better than not enough. So let's take a look at the magnet on the plug. It actually doesn't look too bad. Um, there's obviously tons and tons of gunk on there. Tons of little metal filings and various things that are stuck to the magnet there but there's nothing major no big chunks or anything basically exactly what I was expecting now I'm just gonna loosen a lot of the bottom bolts and we're going to leave a couple or one or one or more bolts uh, on at the top. And you'll see why in a sec. I'm just going to pry the bottom of the diff cover off. And that way all the fluid should come out. Oh, this one's on there good.
going to scrape all this old gasket material off so that our new one, our new material, makes a good seal. So, before you start this job, while I'm doing this, might as well have a, have a chat. Um, before you start this job, make sure you know what kind of differentials you have. So if you have a limited slip, make sure you get the right kind of differential fluid that has the limited slip differential additive in it. Um, if you have lockers, um, it's okay, you can just use the same fluid as an open differential unless it's specified by your by your owner's manual, but um, for my Rubicon JK, you could just use the normal differential fluid. For you JK guys, I've got one out in the driveway too. Um, the, you don't have, if you want to change your differential fluid, you don't have to take your uh, your cover off. Super easy job, there's an actual drain plug so yeah it, routine maintenance on your JK is even easier so the directions on this Permatex multi-purpose gasket maker is to make a six millimeter bead all around um, all around the, the one of the surfaces one of the mating surfaces and then it says to uh, while it's still wet, go put it in place and put all the bolts on finger tight until the silicone starts um, seeping out of the flange. And then it says to wait an hour and then come back and torque the bolts to specs. Okay, my Haynes manual says that the uh, diff cover bolt should be torqued to 30 foot-pounds. I'm there. My Haynes manual says that the diff drain plug should be torqued to 25 foot pounds. Sorry for the bad camera angle.
yeah, I'll just keep an eye on the on the diff cover over the next couple days. Make sure I don't see any uh, differential fluid leaking. And otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching.